Hello guys, welcome to SWK Tutorials. While you can use Maya standard lights with V-Ray, but it's recommended to use V-Ray lights for accurate results. Types of V-Ray lights: rectangle, sphere, dome, sun, and V-Ray mesh light. In this basic V-Ray light tutorial, I will be teaching you V-Ray Rectangle and V-Ray Spare Light. While for other lights I have separate tutorials in my playlist. Plus I will put their links in description. This V-Ray Basic Light tutorial is aimed for beginners. What you will learn? V-Ray Light Parameters How to control V-Ray Light Directionality like we do with these pandos how to light using texture so without any further ado let's get started first i will discuss v-ray rectangle light and then we will discuss v-ray spare light to create v-ray light you have three options I like option 3. Click the V-Ray Rectangle Light icon. Open V-Ray Frame Buffer. Start Interactive Rendering. Move the light up. By default, the light renders in the arrow direction. What do I mean by this? Just look into your viewport. Currently, the arrow is pointing towards this side, so the light is also lighting towards this side. Now, rotate the light 180 degree. You can see that when I rotate my light 180 degree, the arrow also turns towards this side and the light is also turned towards this side. Now, rotate the light minus 90 degree. Since the arrow is pointing downwards, so the light is also lighting downwards. Now we will learn V-Ray Rectangle Light Parameters. Select V-Ray Rectangle Light and open Attribute Editor. Make sure you are on V-Ray Light Rect Shape node. Basic Parameters Rollout. Enable turns the light on or off. Intensity multiplier is simply the power of the light. The higher the number, the brighter the light will be. Light color. When the color mode is set to color, you can change the light color and the light will emit that color. When the color mode is set to temperature, the color of the light is controlled by Kelvin values. Change the value and see the result. If you want to know more about Kelvin values, simply go to your browser and in the images type Kelvin values and you will see the values along with their respective colors. Now let's discuss units. Units are important but I am not going to go deep into it as it can be confusing for the beginners. For beginners, change the unit to watts. And remember this one important principle. A smaller light produces sharp shadows while big light produces soft shadows. Let's see an example. First save this result. Now go to your size rollout and change the U and V from 1 to 5. Note. Do not scale the V-Ray Spare 
or rectangle light using Maya scale tools. Use only size rollout. Save this result and compare both of them. Size 1 sharp shadows, size 5 bloody shadows, 1 sharp shadows, 5 soft shadows. If you want to know more about soft shadows and unit types, then watch my tutorial create soft and hard shadows using V-Ray lights in Maya. You can find the link in the description. Shape type Rectangle The light has a plain rectangle shape. You can see here. Now change it to disc. The light has a disc shape. As you can see here. Again change it back to rectangle light. Next toggle target. Switches the light between being not targeted free light as you can see here and targeted light. If I click it here you can see now it's a targeted light. It has a target. It is helpful in placing lights. Just see an example. You can see by moving the target I can easily place my light and concentrate on where I want my light to be. Directionality rollout. Directional. If the light is equal to zero, the light is spread out equally in all directions. If the value is greater than zero, the lights make a light beam more narrow and concentrate in one direction. Let's see an example by increasing the value. This example demonstrates how the light changes when the directionality value is changed ranging from 0 to 1. When the value is close to 0, the light is more focused towards one point, while when the light is closer to 0, the light is spread to all sides. If you want your light to light like this, then select your rectangle light. In your directional rollout, change the directional value from 0 to 1. In your textures rollout, check use rectangle texture. Then in the rect text, click here, choose file, click here and open your texture. I am currently using this texture. The black part will not be renderable while the white part will be renderable in lighting. Now click Render. Options rule out. Double sided. When enabled, the light will emit on both sides. You can see here. This was our previous side with the arrow, but with double sided on, the light will emit on both sides. But remember, it will not emit downwards like this. You will always have a black line or you can say no light at this part. Just look here. Light here plus light here but no light at this part. Invisible. When unchecked the light will appear in renders plus refractions. But when checked the light will not appear in renders and refractions, but it will appear in reflections. Effect reflection. When unchecked, the light will not appear in reflections. You can see here, now it is not appearing in reflections. Effect specular. Determines whether the light is affecting the specular of the material. This means glossy reflections. Uncheck it, 
and you will not see any glossy reflections in your materials. Affect diffuse determines whether the light is affecting the diffuse property of the material. Uncheck it. Since we have turned off effect diffuse, specular and reflection of the V-ray rectangle light. Therefore, the render is all black. Turn it on one by one and turn it off only if it's necessary. Next, we will discuss V-ray sphere light. To create V-ray sphere light, we have three options. I like option three. Click on the V-ray sphere light icon. Move the light up and start interactive rendering. It is a light in the shape of a sphere. It is good for lighting scenes to simulate real world point light sources such as energy saver, bulb, etc where the light is emitted from one point in all directions. All the parameters of the V-ray sphere light are just like V-ray rectangle light except size rollout where we use radius to control the size of the light. I hope that this tutorial was easy for you. If you like this tutorial, give it a like. If you love this tutorial, subscribe to my channel, share my videos, keep creating guys, bye bye.